Hey everyone, we're going to be doing the September update for BlackBerry Pre that is 7.26, 7.25pm. 53% on the battery, so what do we have here? Yeah, it says update, and I'm going to be doing an update, my, uh, my monthly updates over here. And we'll see what, uh, what happens. So let me go click on this update. And then, sorry about all the light reflection, but... Um, I'm still not too advanced with this. I've only been doing this a couple of years, so let me click on the download over there. And we're downloading. We're downloading over there. So I will, uh, I'm assuming this is the September update. You know, it's so confusing because they don't tell you what update you're getting, but it is September. Supposedly this came out on the 6th, but I just got the notice a couple days ago. I would have updated earlier, but as I said in my last month, uh, I adopted, or I rescued a dog six weeks, seven weeks ago coming tomorrow, seven weeks ago Saturday. So, uh, download and verified, is that already? Wow, okay, so this is going to be a lot of rambling because this update only took like two seconds. So I'm going to restart and uh, I'm going to read what all these updates are if this is the September update. So we're going to be... Uh, Restarting in a minute. So I, uh, I rescued a dog seven weeks ago uh, who was in a shelter for about four months of her life. And <clears throat> she's not even two years old, so she spent a lot of her life in a shelter. Sorry about that light reflection. And uh, it's pretty much taken over my whole life because I used to exercise at the gym, which I canceled because there is no way I can leave this dog alone right now. And I used to ride my bike all the time, and there's no way I can do that and leave the dog alone. So what's like to, what's uh, yesterday? Yesterday I'm driving, and I get to an intersection, and the car stalls out. Yikes! Stalls out again a block later as I'm pushing it. Stalls out again half a block from my mom's house. Unbelievable! And here I am, dog trying to bark, and I've got the door open. I'm trying to push it through the intersection. Luckily, two guys jumped uh, behind the car and pushed it and helped me get it out of the way. Uh, turns out the car ran out of gas. Again, why is the car running out of gas? Well, I take it over to the mechanic because I, I don't have a gas gauge. It just doesn't work. hasn't worked in a long time. And uh, he says, oh, it's the car's out of gas. And I said, there's no way. I've got 80 miles left on the tank. So uh, he says, no, it's going to be out of gas. He's, he's positive it's out of gas just by what I'm telling him. And um, wow, that reflection is terrible. Sorry. Let's get that lamp off there. So he's positive it's out of gas. And uh, he does some work on it, checks the brakes, adjusts everything, and I pick it up the next day, today, and I take it over to Costco, gas it up, and I assume there should be about another 80 miles on the tank. No, I filled the thing all the way up. There's only a gallon left, so I can't figure out what the heck's going on here. And... Uh, I go in the house, in the store, I go into the store to get some uh, food for me and my mom. Bring mom some food for watching the dog and helping me out. And since she's watching the dog and when I'm out, she can't really shop with me now. So I have to do all the shopping and bring it over there. So uh, I get out of the store and there's a whole puddle of gas underneath my gas tank. Wow, something's not right here. We got a leak. So I take it over to the mechanic and I said, what's going on? Gas all over the ground. The filler gasket. The filler pipe, the pipe that uh, you put the nozzle in, the gasket that goes to the gas tank is leaking. Now, I don't know if it was leaking before they worked on it, but I'm assuming it probably was. So for the last how many months or years when they've been saying, you should uh, fill your tank up, it's empty. And I say, no, it's not empty. I've got 50 miles left on it. And he says, no, get this thing over to the gas station. It's empty. I've been leaking gas forever, and it's probably this gasket. So the car is old enough, can't get a filler, uh, can't get the sending unit for the, for the uh, gas gauge. So I had to buy it online myself, and I'm going to take it over and have him install it. And I uh, bought a gasket. So maybe that's why my car has been running out of gas. Just a disaster. So now everybody who knows me is saying, you can't do this to the dog. You cannot have an, uh, a car that's not dependable. You need to do this for the dog and go out and buy a car. How the heck am I going to go buy a car? I mean, I can't get online and ask people to give me $25,000 in donations. Yikes. So uh, 
That's what's been going on with my life. But the amazing thing is, between the stress, the, the constantly walking this dog to make sure everything's good and to make sure she's not frustrated and she's getting her exercise, and waking up hours early to make sure that she gets her walk, and it's just all new for her, it's all new for me. It's a complete life change. And it shouldn't be, but it is, because she's still uh, kind of like a puppy, even though she's about one and a half years old. Mentally, she's a puppy. And as I said in my last video, she was listed in rescue as, I'm a little lady, I have no manners, and I was never trained. And she's kind of stubborn. She does what she wants. And that's the big battle between her and I, is I'm trying to train her and teach her. And she doesn't want to learn. But she's learning. We're getting along. We're doing it good. We're, we're fine. Um, I was just sitting on the floor playing my guitar. It just melts my heart. I almost cry sometimes when I'm sitting there playing guitar and I'm singing to her and she just looks at me and drifts off or she stares at me. So I was playing guitar and she got her little chew toy and put her paws right on my lap and started chewing the toy. She wanted to be that close to me while I was playing the guitar just so she could have some attention. So we've got the little update blue line over there that always uh, shows up. And... Uh, so that's what's been going on in my life. I've lost a massive amount of weight. I've lost, I've been working out on and off for the last over a year, and I changed my diet, and I'm going to update you on that in a minute, change my diet, but I've lost, I've, lo I've lost uh, not only pounds, I've lost more inches, I've lost body fat. The body fat scale cranked down percent, like 2% two, two even more in the last month unbelievable and it's all because of the dog so I go over to the doctor get my physical and last time I told you my blood sugar was kind of weight she didn't like where it was she said take care of this or else so uh, I changed my diet I stopped eating all the junk that I was eating wow out of focus focusing on the lamp sorry about this but uh, we'll get this going in a minute ay yeah 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 so we're down at the Blackberry. It's just having a heck of a time focusing. This camera always screws up in low light. Um, so I go to the doctor and she, uh, before I went to the doctor, I, she had me get my blood test and I checked the results. Normally in the U.S., you're, uh, the average person in the U.S., their cholesterol is 200. It shouldn't be anywhere near there, but it's 200 because that's just our diet. Not good, but that's what it is. And that's what my numbers were, always about 190-something. And if you're on cholesterol meds, then you're down in the 140s, 150s, 160s, but you're taking those meds, which just really aren't the best thing in the world for you. And uh, my cholesterol was 148 without medication. I was using something over the counter that you can buy. If you want to know what it is, let me know. I take it occasionally when I'm eating fattening meals, and it's kind of like the stuff that's in your greens. Um and it's supposed to absorb some of the fat in your uh, diet, so you take it before the meal, and I only do that when I'm eating certain things. So my cholesterol was 148. The doc said, whatever you're doing, keep doing it. Blood sugar went down. Should go down a little bit more, but she said, come on. Your blood pressure is really good. Your cholesterol is really good. Your blood sugar is almost good, and I wish I could give you a gold star for what you're doing because you are in better health than anybody, than most people your age. The risk, uh, you, you have like a, when you, when you get to certain ages, your uh, risk for heart attacks and stroke change. And like uh, for my group, it should be somewhere about a 10% chance that in the next so many years you have a heart, heart attack or stroke. Well, with me, it's down like a 3 or 4%. So she said, whatever you're doing, just keep doing it dog just came over to my leg. And I want to show you this. Be next to me while I'm doing the update. This is, this is why I'm okay with my whole life changing right now. This dog loves me, depends on me, and I depend on her a lot now. So we're just a really cute team, a really good team. Everybody loves seeing us together. Um, even these big macho manly guys, these tough guys, they see somebody like me walking around with this little dog with a pink leash and a collar, and they go, wow, look at that. So, so that's what's been going on with my life, is uh, the health thing. I'm always talking about weight and blood sugar and eating well, and eating well made a big difference. What's that clicking I keep hearing? 
let me go put in the code. Okay, so I uh, started this thing up again. And uh, we'll see what happens. I'm still going to read some of the info about what the updates are. Not that they matter. Um, if you like my videos, thumbs up, subscribe, or like. If you hate these videos, some of you do. Do a thumbs up or a thumbs down or spread the hate, whatever you want to do. That's okay. My life is good. Hopefully your life is good too. Stay healthy. Eat well. Get some exercise. Get yourself a rescue dog. Save a life. Save your life too, maybe. And... Uh, so the dog's right next to the tripod. I do want to read some of the updates on what's going on with this thing. So I'm going to settle this camera over here and sit down and read to you some of what's happening with the update. Assuming it's the September update, I still don't know. Elevation of privilege in Windows Manager in Lib... Oh my god, what the heck is this? Lib Mink Minkin? Remote cut execution in media server, 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 in media server. Unbelievable. How many more remote code execution in media servers do they have? Like, oh, the dog's trying to knock out and the dog's on my leg. That's what's going on. Shaking, uh, shaking the tripod all over. She, she goes through a routine every night. She goes on my leg, left leg, right, or right leg, left leg, right left, le left leg. Um, runs around, knocks the, no, knocks the, no, she's going to get caught between the tripod here. Move, go away, don't hurt yourself. Um, and then she uh, runs back and forth, tries to tear up the bed, plays with the toys, rolls on her back, wants her belly rubbed, and then finally passes out. And we've had a really rough day because of the mechanic. And yesterday, the rough day with the car stalling. So somebody want to leave me a $25,000 uh, uh, donation? I'll go out and buy a new car for this dog so that she uh, is in a better car. Yeah, okay. Unbelievable the amount of remote code execution and media server things there are. And then what do we have? Elevation of privilege in media server. Two of those. Denial of service in media server. Denial. Den what is wrong with this media server? There's like 10, 11, okay, six, six denial of service in media server. Information disclosure in media server. Elevation of privilege in NFC. Elevation of privilege in. Broadcom Wi-Fi driver in Broadcom Wi-Fi driver, 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 remote code execution in kernel. Uh, two of those information disclosure in kernel, elevation of privilege in kernel, IPX protocol driver, denial of service in kernel, elevation of privilege in kernel, information disclosure in kernel. Information disclosure in kernel file system, information disclosure in kernel, elevation of privilege in kernel. SCSI driver, elevation of privilege in Qualcomm memory subsystem, elevation of privilege in Qualcomm, in Qualcomm audio driver, in Qualcomm GPU driver, in Qualcomm audio driver, information disclosure in Qualcomm file system, in Qualcomm WLAN driver, in camera driver, in Qualcomm camera driver, in uh, two of those, three of those, in uh, Qualcomm video driver, in Qualcomm automotive multimedia, Remote code execution in media server one twice. Information disclosure in media server. Information disclosure in media server. Wow, all those updates. Unbelievable, all those updates. And I think the download only took, what, like a minute and a half, two minutes? It was quick, really quick. So uh, uh, you got my uh, life story update over there and uh, my, uh, my, my request for a car. I'm kidding. I don't expect anybody to do that. I'm just joking around, so don't even take that seriously. I'll figure that out somehow, which means I'm not getting anything. I just have to deal with this, uh, the car breaks downs and life. Um, but it's fun. It's fun with the dog. It's a whole new experience trying to figure this whole thing out. And my eating schedule, sleeping schedule, trying to shop, going for food. I know some people are going to say crate her. I put her in a crate and she hated the thing and I, I just put it outside. I'm not going to use it anymore. Uh, she has six beds in the living room. She has a dog house. She uh, has towels and afghans all over the floor. So she's pretty much taken over the whole place. She's happy where she's at. She's not in a cage anymore. She lived in a cage and a shelter for far too long and very difficult to train. We're both having a rough time. She likes to weave back and forth, go from left to right. She likes to pull or what they call crabbing. She crabs to the side when I try to get her control of her. I have a, uh, a hook on the front uh, pulling harness, and she hates that. Runs away when I try to put it on. 
and I double hooked that with the collar even they say it's okay it makes it more difficult because she doesn't like it but that way she can't run in case everything comes apart so I'm just trying to deal with all of this uh, it is a good way to lose weight it's a good way to have your life completely altered overnight even my doctor was asking me about that and she says okay I don't want that to happen to my life maybe I won't get a dog yet um, so huge responsibility but that's okay hey for anybody this is a big thing for me for anybody that wants to eat healthier a lot of people out there you either like greens or you hate greens I hate greens I've only been eating broccoli and spinach and kale raw only I will never eat it cooked it's nasty it stinks it's gross I can't handle it but a lot of people love it cooked uh, with me I can eat, do, eat it raw but I buy the stuff I have one one serving and then I let it stay in the fridge till it rots and I throw it away same with uh, smoothies I can make one smoothie and it's kind of nasty and I, I gulp it down and just let the stuff rot and then I throw it away and I don't buy it for weeks so or I buy it again and I throw it away and I buy it again and so somebody uh, I, I was looking on the internet trying to find out how to make this stuff taste like chocolate and I found something that said how to make it taste like chocolate well you can't make it taste like chocolate but this is really kind of cool now normally I don't know about you but uh, some people buy protein drinks some people buy the protein powder I buy the chocolate protein powder and the vanilla protein powder I did a uh, reviews on them I believe um, on my channel so every once in a while I do the uh, cup of water maybe half a cup of ice and I put in the uh, smoothie powder the protein powder and I have that at night and that replaces ice cream and it's healthy for you it's not the greatest but it, it's it's beneficial so uh, wow look at all those um, all those modules so that's what I normally do for my little beverage thing well what this thing said is if you're making the chocolate smoothie if you're making the chocolate protein drink you're halfway there what they want you to do and this worked out really good one cup of water about half a cup or so of, of ice half a banana frozen put the banana in the freezer it will last longer than keeping it on the counter you've always got them there and you just break it in half and you pop it in the smoothie in the in the blender and that way it's going to make it cold and it's going to make it kind of uh, thicker even with, even though you have ice in there this will make it thicker and kind of like a milkshake so you do your protein powder and your water and your ice and the banana and so now you've got your maybe a fake milkshake and you throw in your kale with me I threw in the spinach today and my problem is when I make these smoothies I throw in about two or three handfuls of spinach and it's nasty and I can't stand it and I gulp it down so this time I only put one handful one big handful in there and here's the catch half a teaspoon of cinnamon or just sprinkle a bunch of cinnamon in there if you're going to be using cinnamon there's different kinds of cinnamon out there use something called Ceylon C-E-Y-L-O-N it's the healthiest cinnamon out there others might not be too good for your liver depending on which country it came from and I'm not going to say what countries but there are three or four different countries that cinnamon comes from you want Ceylon if you're going to be doing a lot of cinnamon uh, it's beneficial it's good for your blood sugar very good for your blood sugar also good for the cholesterol the arteries so it's very beneficial plus you throw that cinnamon in there and this is the thing that totally freaked me out because I was expecting like they said this is gonna make it taste like uh, like a chocolate milkshake didn't taste like a chocolate milkshake really couldn't taste the chocolate milkshake what it tasted like was a cinnamon roll incredible it smells like a cinnamon roll it tastes like a cinnamon roll and I gulped this stuff down it, delicious absolutely delicious so this is my way that I'm gonna be able to have my kale or my spinach and I don't know about how it's going to work with kale or spinach with or broccoli but with spinach all it was was uh, cinnamon so that's the key for me now I just have to find a way I know you can freeze spinach I've done that before and when I freeze it I really don't want to eat it I just leave it in there and let it rot and then I throw it away but now that I've got the uh, the cinnamon idea maybe that will change so or maybe I'll go to the store more and buy some fresh stuff and I will tell you that when I drink my uh, if I do a smoothie like that for a dinner and gulp down this whole thing in the morning I can tell that there's some weight loss maybe not so much because I didn't eat a whole meal but I think it has something to do with uh, the body just responds better so I want to try to get, be able to do this on a daily basis 
So that's my little uh, info for the month. Cinnamon powder in your smoothie. If you hate uh, the taste of raw veggies, and it's really good. It's absolutely delicious. I might even have some for dinner. Um, what else do I want to say? So I did. Uh, I talked about the the health, the exercise that I always talk about. I did the update. Uh, what the files were for the update. Um, and I guess I don't really know what else. Uh, if you have any ideas for reviews of something, I've been doing a lot of reviews on my channel. If you have any ideas or things that you want me to review, if I can get a hold of it, I will. And I'll try to do a review. Other than that, um, hey, life is going good. I've got the dog. Health is doing okay. I'm not uh, where those hurricanes are, which is good. And um, I guess that's it. So where are we at? We're at uh, we're in the twenties here. Uh, started at seven twenty five, thirty five, forty five. We're twenty three minutes in. That's weird. Twenty three minutes in for that tiny little update. And hopefully this is going to show that it's the September pre update. Um, anybody using a DTEC fifty or sixty or what's the new one? The key the key one or the key something. Man, I'd love it if BlackBerry would send me one of those. They won't, but I'd love it if they sent me one so that I could uh, compare it to what I've got here and maybe do a review and let everyone else know what I think of it. Sorry, had to take a gulp of my lime water. Um, drinking water is really good for you. Putting, oh, the dog just bumped my legs, wants some attention. And now she went so oh she went to the I she she's all over the place. She bumped my right leg and I looked at my right leg and she's at my left leg. Now she's scratching and kicking. Which all dogs do. They scratch and they kick, and um, that's gonna be coming up soon is taking her to a dog dermatologist to find out why she scratches and kicks. Yikes. Talk about a profession. $175 for the appointment. $75 for the blood tests. There are three blood tests, so we're uh, heading in the $400 range, and then maybe, then they'll figure out what it is, maybe a skin culture and a blood test, and then let me know, they'll let me know if it's uh, maybe a food allergy or a skin allergy or just a nervous condition, or she's sitting there watching me now. She wants to go outside, but I'll let her out in a minute. We're going to finish the update here. I think she wants to go out. It's really weird. Let me tell you about the dog. I go over to the rescue a couple months ago. They just opened up, and I went over there, and I'd go there every couple days. I just loved the place. I thought it was really, you, it's kind of like a community place. You could go in there. It's a very, it's not your average rescue. They have Millions, believe me, there are millions of dollars involved in this one rescue. Millions. Tens of millions of dollars. That's how much that is involved in this thing. And to me, it was like a community place. Go over there, check out the dogs, check out the cats, check out the bunnies that came in there. And so I would try to go every few days or once a week. I'd bring the uh, people cookies because uh, that's just the kind of stuff that I do. And they like talking to me and I got, I, I enjoy talking to them. And we talk about who was rescued that week, and just a lot of fun. Really, uh, I enjoyed it. And so uh, I saw this dog. I think I talked about this last month. I saw this dog in one of the areas, and she just had this sad look on her eye, in her face. Sad eyes, really sad eyes. She looked at me, ran over to the door. They have a little sniffing area where you can put your hand and they can sniff. And she sniffed. And hold on a second. There she is. She was laying down. But she saw me put the camera on her. So she saw me look at her, and uh, she came over to sniff my hand. And realized she's not getting out of there. She ran over to the back door. Nobody was going to open it up. And she just sat down there and looked at me. Looked over her shoulder and just looked at me. When I, I took a photograph of that, I swear when I look at that picture, it almost makes me cry each time. And I felt so bad for her. She was listed as, I'm a little lady with no manners and no training. And, you know, I never really thought about it. I thought, hey, I'd love to have her. 
I never realized it would change my life. I didn't think about my bike rides or shopping or I didn't think about anything. Being able to take my mom to her appointments or what this would do, waking up early in the morning to walk her. I just saw her and I really liked her. So the next time I went there and I looked for her again and we did the same thing. Then I went there with my mom one day and they said, do you want us to take her out of the area? And, I, and do you want to see her? So we went out in the back the lawn area and she ran around like a nut. And they said they loved her. She was, they called her a spaz and um, had her own personality, would run around the lawn just as fast as could be, just massive speed, incredible speed, and would do her own sprinting and then wear herself out and then calm down, kind of. So, uh, yeah, I'd go in there, and every time I'd go in there, they'd say, are you here for your dog? And I'd say, I don't know. And I was, trying, I was painting my place, trying to fix it up, and... Um, so I went in there one day, uh, and I told them, I said, I don't know, I'm cleaning my place up, I'm trying to fix it up a little bit so that I can adopt her. I'll, if nobody takes her, if she doesn't go to a good family, I want her to go to a good family, I want her to be in a house, and I want her to be with a family, and if she's not here by my birthday, then I'll, I'll get, get her for my birthday gift. And then there was going to be, uh, a week after my birthday, there was going to be a reunion breakfast, and so I told them, I went in there on, uh, I took my mom out for breakfast on a Saturday, and we went in there and I said, hey, I just came in here to let you know that uh, my birthday is next week and I've got a breakfast next weekend, and if she's still here, then I'll probably get her. I didn't say I'll get her. I, I was trying to sort it out in my mind. What am I going to do? What do I want to do? And again, I really hadn't thought about everything, what the future was going to be and what was going to go on, what, what uh, sacrifices or what would happen. I just saw her and I thought, I don't want her to be here. So uh, I said, uh, I'll probably get her next weekend. And they said, no, somebody's looking at her right now. A couple is looking at her. And everybody in there knew that I wanted her and everybody wanted me to have her. We had built kind of a friendship uh, type thing with me going there all the time and they wanted me to have her. And Everybody was like a nervous wreck. He's here and somebody's looking at the dog. So they're on the radio saying, he's here, he wants the dog. Let us know, or, or is this couple gonna take him? And I was just, I was, is gonna, are they gonna take her? I was a nervous wreck. I was so emotional, so upset. I walked away from everybody and I was trying not to fall apart, trying not to lose it. And I saw the, uh, the couple holding the leash and walking her around and I thought, that's it, she's gone, I can't get her. And a couple minutes later, I think I explained this later, last month, but a couple minutes later they came in and everybody knew, everyone, everyone was just waiting to find out what was going on and somebody walked up to me and said they didn't take her. And I looked at them and I said, I want her. And I just walked, whoo, really hard to even say this because this just, this was tough for me. And then I'll finish the video off. Um, really hard for me. I, I thought I was going to just break down and cry. My eyes were just filled with tears knowing that I almost lost her and that she was still there. And they said they didn't take her. And I told them, I want her right now. I wasn't going to risk waiting till next week. I want her right now. And we packed her up did all the paperwork, took about an hour and a half, and I left there, went and got dog food, and took her home, and she was a nervous wreck, and chewing on the bone, just ripping it apart, staring at me, lost, mentally, emotionally lost, frightened, and so was I. And here we are, almost seven weeks later, and I totally love this dog, and she's just there for me. I'm there for her. We're we were really good for each other. I'll go over there and I'll hug her. I'll put my arms around her and lay next to her and she lets me rub her belly. And sometimes I'll be laying there watching TV and she'll walk over to me and curl up next to me. She, so we have a real strong bond. When I'm visiting my mom, my mom's always saying, look at her. All, she, uh, she doesn't take her eyes off you. She watches everything you do. And when I leave her at my mom's house so I can go shopping, she doesn't really play with her toys and she's not herself till I come back and then she's happy and wags the tail and then she's at peace and then she goes and chews on her toys and does her things knowing that I'm there. So now you can see why I can't leave her alone yet. I could, but I can't. I'm not ready to. And plus I'm worried she's going to chew up all the beds and swallow all the garbage that's in there and end up sick and in the hospital uh, getting all that poisonous filling pulled out of her belly. So that's my life right now. Um,
going to do the update where it's 757. So we started off at 25, 35, 45, 55, kind of like 30 minutes on this. And where are we at as far as the battery is concerned? So it really sucked down the battery, which it always does. So we're going to go over now and find out what we've got here. I'm going to go to about. I don't know, some people I think listen to all my videos and I think others, they don't even get to the end of this, if they even listen at all. September 5th, there we go, so it's the September update. It did work. 6.0, that's the Preve. Marshmallow. Let's go find out what the build is. Wow, that's a little different number. I've never seen that before. A A A A A O four eight four. I've never seen an O. I don't remember an O in the build number. So that's going to be my video for the month of September. Sorry, it's a couple days too late. Um, but my life right now is pretty much making sure this dog is taken care of, making sure that I can get my mom to her appointments, which is kind of difficult now because I the dog goes with us. And if my mom's going in for doctor's appointments, I sit outside with the dog and wait. So um, my life mostly now is making sure everyone's taken care of. My mom, the dog, I try to take care of myself as best I can. Um, and that's going to be the end of this update video for the month. I'll see you next month. Sorry about all the rambling, but that's pretty much what this is all about that I do every month. And some of you know that and some of you shut it off, which is okay. Stay healthy, stay happy, take care of yourself.